8 million people in the UK take statins on a daily basis, making them the most commonly prescribed medication here. And given they reduce heart disease risk, there is a drive to prescribe even more. So when research emerges that potentially links statins with diabetes, it doesn't just raise concerns on an individual level, it raises them on a national and a global level too. Raising questions like, what is this research? How concrete is the link? Should people stop taking statins? Or has this all just been blown out of proportion? I'm a GP in the UK who prescribes statins on a daily basis, so it is crucial that I'm aware and understand research like this so that I can best advise my patients what to do. So today, let's unpack where this claim comes from. Let's separate the facts from the headlines, and most importantly, answer the question, should this affect how you think about statins? What I'm talking about today isn't exactly new. Although we have recent robust evidence, the links with statins and diabetes actually goes all the way back to the 2000s. And it was in the 2010s that strong research emerged, leading to FDA warnings on the increased risk of hyperglycemia in people on statins. So why am I making a video about it now? Well, there are three reasons. Firstly, most people don't know about this, including healthcare professionals. Secondly, statins are a controversial topic at the best of times, so addressing claims like this is super important. And thirdly, a recent patient of mine caught me off guard with questions about this, and I don't think I did him justice with an adequate explanation. So here it is. A number of the strong research papers I'm referring to today are available linked below in the description, but the overall headline is this. Statins increase the risk of developing diabetes, which is true. But wait, before you throw the statins in the bin, the devil is in the detail. Now I'm not gonna bog you down with gibberish like, a confidence interval and hazard ratio around the one mark is statistically significant, but it's the p-value of less than 0.05, which gets me excited. Nope, there is just one statistical term you need to know about, and that is risk. More specifically, the absolute risk and the relative risk. Because although they sound similar, they can paint a very different picture. Look at it like this. If you do the lottery every week and this week you decide to buy a second ticket, well, you just doubled your chances of winning, meaning your relative risk has increased 100%. But your actual chances of winning the UK lottery is said to be about one in 45 million. And buying two tickets has increased your chances to two in 45 million. So that's an absolute risk increase of 0.00002%. Now back to statins. Now keeping that in mind, if we take data from 13 different trials containing 91,000 patients and we look at the risk of developing diabetes in people who were on statins and people who were not on statins, where we get two different risks. Taking a statin increases your risk by 9%. Taking a statin increases your risk by 0.05%. So be careful with percentages and risks because they can trick us. I think perhaps a different way of looking at it is like this, because this is true as well. You have to give 255 people a statin for four years to cause one case of diabetes. So maybe when you put it like that, it doesn't sound as bad, but here's the thing. It's still an issue. It increases the risk of diabetes. And this is important because the whole point of taking statins is to prevent heart attacks and strokes. And diabetes increases the risk of heart attacks and strokes. But wait again, don't throw them in the bin just yet, because let me expand on what I just said. Yes, if 255 people take a statin for four years, there will be one additional case of diabetes, but there will be five less heart attacks, and one of those five people probably had diabetes. So perhaps we could also say the benefit actually outweighs the risk, but it's not straightforward. So here are the unbiased bads and goods. Statins increase your risk of diabetes. The higher the statin, the higher the risk they might worsen sugar levels in people who already have diabetes. And then there's the good. Even considering all of this, the benefit still outweighs the risk. 
So should this affect your decision on whether you take statins or you don't take statins? Well, maybe, but it's actually more complicated than that, isn't it? Because you have to consider what's this you've heard about aches and pains, the risks of taking a statin, the risks of not taking a statin. So there's a lot to it. And if you want help deciding, I've made this video here. So if you've got a moment, pop over there and have a look. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that today and I'll hopefully see you over there.